Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video we are going to talk about SendGrid which is really nice the way how you can boost your email marketing game uh, with uh, this, uh, this software. We are going to cover what it actually is, I'll tell you more about it and also we compare the pricing plans and sneak peek into the SendGrid itself. So let's start. SendGrid offers tools and features to empower your email marketing campaigns. Use uh, its simple and easy to use interface to create and design your emails the way you want to. You can also build responsive emails using the design editor or choose from a number of uh, pre-installed responsive templates. Its advanced uh, real-time analytic tools provide you with uh, detailed insights and uh, reports on various key metrics. With SendGrid, keep a track of emails sent, delivery rates, spam reports, bounces, link clicks, and a lot more. It simplifies the way you engage your customers and helps you in sending relevant and uh, targeted emails. All from, uh, uh, all from this nice UI that they are providing, you can't run it on your mobile phone, uh, at least for now. You need uh, to have a working uh, web browser. Obviously, you can uh, you can uh, open it in your web browser in your uh, in your mobile phone, but uh, there is no app for it yet. It's great for all types of businesses, if it's small, uh, medium, or even a larger enterprise but also for freelancers itself. When we check the pricing, you can start for free, which is a great, great option that they are providing free trial. Other than that, uh, you have email epi plans and marketing campaign plans. With the epi plans, uh, there is this free forever option, which is uh, integrate fast and explore features with 100 emails a day forever. As you can see, the catch is in the emails per day. 100 is really, really not a lot. Then uh, you have uh, APIs, SMTP relay and webhooks, which is great because you can try out uh, your integrations with other softwares straight away with APIs. In most cases, they, uh, or let's put it like this, the other creators of software of this kind are putting the APIs entries in their paid, uh, paid options, not in SendGrid. You have deliver uh, opti <laughs> optimization tools, dynamics, uh, template editor, insightful analytics, ticket support, deliverability insights, but you have no access to email validation, no access to dedicated IPs, no sub-user management, and no single uh, sign-ons. Then we have essentials, where you basically uh, have to ask them or tell them how many you want to, uh, how many emails you want to send a month. You see, to 50k a month, it's 14.95. Once you go over it with 60,000 email, uh, 60, emails, it's almost 30. Same goes, also, you don't have all the features. Uh, and then you have the pro option, where it stands, starts at 89.95 a month, up to 15, it's, uh, let's, yeah. It's uh, 20, 100K emails a month. And it goes more and more and more up until you reach one and a half million. Then you have to ask them for their special offer, which is also a very nice option uh, when the creator or the owner of, of uh, the site can basically tailor you the option just for you. Then we have uh, marketing and campaign plans. Also, first one is free. 
and then we have a basic and advanced working the same uh, same way where you uh, where you choose how many uh, how many contacts and how many emails you have or you want to send so let's try out how to get into SendGrid start for free first we have to give them the email address like this and password like this I'm not a robot and yes you accept oh 16 characters So let's go like this. Mm, not quite there yet. Oh, okay. This should this should work. Yeah, they are quite nice with the uh, they are quite nice with their game so let's enter the quite obligatory uh, name company name company website yeah, I'm faking this one out to be honest they uh, want to country code and phone number but as you can see, it's not a red dot, so it should not be mandatory. Let's go with other, how many emails, how many employees, and get started. So it's actually quite nice and quite easy to log in. If you can put the right uh, password or create the right password for you. And hands up, heads up, we are updating our legal terms and conditions. Okay and uh, we are in so it took us maybe like two minutes even when i was uh, not giving in the right uh, password but under them create a single sender or authenticated domain instead let's create a sender so first uh, we have to create the sender's name Let's go with Matt from email address. Uh, let's uh, find uh, one address. Give me a second. Just give me a second from name the required field. Reply to company address and all the other. This is our sender email with all the required fields. We have dashboard, email APIs, where you can easily use. But first, yeah, you have to create a sender of your own. But it's not that difficult. You just have to follow the simpler rules. You have to follow the simpler rules. Marketing, options, designs and library, which is pretty advanced. Stats. And many more. You can also create your design or go to co uh, code editor if you are more experienced. But all of that, uh, I also want to create a new video about creating a single sender because that will take us some time and this video, video is already long enough. And I really wanted you to see how you can get into the free version and try 
or try to work in it so you can teach your employees but i i don't think that they will need that much of a time for uh, learning how to work in sendgrid even though it's very very nice uh, way how to approach to this to this world of uh, a mass email sending but i would i wouldn't compare it actually to send in blue it's kind of nicer and i don't see i don't feel like it's that complicated as sendgrid so guys uh thanks for watching there will be more videos coming of uh of 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 sendgrid so stay tuned and see you in the next one so take care and have a great day